Hello, leets, and welcome to a Minecraft Xbox 360 edition title update. This is title update 14, PC equivalent 1.3.1. Woo, that's a mouthful. So, let's get started. Be sure to leave a like on this video because I did some pretty good preparing for this, and I'm ready. So, I'm just going to showcase to you what's in this next update. So, this is all we've got. We've almost got a full house, just except for the little end right here. So we got emerald ore added to the game. So you can, you know, go into a, a cave and hopefully if you get lucky, because it's more rare than diamonds, and diamonds are pretty rare. You can be like, tap tap, well not with an axe, but with a pickaxe. And maybe if you collect enough, you can make emerald ore blocks. You can make emerald blocks. You can build with those, they're really pretty. Then you've got ender chests. Ender chests are pretty freaking awesome. I've been waiting for these for a while. Um, Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the uh, butt tenderizer in there, and look, boom! The butt tenderizer comes out on the other side. It's like, ShamWow! The butt tenderizer just moved from one chest to the next. It's pretty freaking awesome. It's really awesome. Okay, next thing we've got here is the anvil. Anvil's been added. Um, now, I call this this um, this update the, the finally update, because there's so many things in this update that you go, finally... Two when you like you see it so gravity boom it is freaking falls to gravity that's so freaking awesome like you can drop it on creepers and all kinds of stuff yeah look at that that's funny that's cute it's it's comical so that's awesome they added flower pots to minecraft xbox 60 edition um you know you can put freaking dead bushes in your house as if you're like you don't wash your plant uh, you don't draw uh, put water in your plants you can put flowers for your lover, mushrooms for your drug addict friend, and ferns for Martha Stewart. Like, you know, yeah, I mean, that's perfect. Um, you've got cobblestone walls. Uh, you got cobblestone walls and mossy cobblestone walls. Um, you can make your walls look old or just, yeah. <laughs> um, nether quartz ore now spawns in nether, which is awesome. You can mine that. It looks pretty cool. It looks like diamonds, but whatever. Alright, and uh, when you mine those, you can make uh, quartz blocks, you can make chiseled quartz blocks, um, which is this one right here, you can make pillar quartz blocks, which is this one right here, um, those are all pretty cool, I'm going to be using those a lot. You can also make um, quartz slabs, uh, quartz staircases, which is pretty freaking awesome, and then you got wool, you've got wool you can put in your world now, because... I mean, you've got all 16 colors. You've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, black, white, all those colors. Um, you got 16 different colors to choose from. And now here, we've got emeralds added into the game, which is pretty awesome. Emeralds, yeah. Um, next thing we've got here is a tripwire. Tripwire hook. So what you can do with this is, you know, you probably already know, but do traps. You can do all kinds of traps or redstone contraptions with this. You just... Uh, Slap it against the wall like, like uh, that, and then you put string. Um, what? You can barely see that string. Uh, where can I put this to showcase to you guys? Can I put it like right here and there? Oh no, that won't work. Why? Oh, because it's only a two by two area. My bad. What oh, is sucks? This sucks real bad. <laughs> Ew. You watch it. Now we've got wither paintings, which is basically just a painting but with the wither. So it's so spooky. I can't wait till the wither comes. Uh, we've got quartz. You know, when you mine quartz, or you get quartz. We've got enchanted books. You've got all kinds of enchanted books. See, you've got these freaking. You can enchant armor and um, your tools with these lovely enchantments. These enchanted books are lovely. Um, now we've got more new food in this game. We've got a golden apple. Now, here's the thing. We've already had a golden apple, but there's a difference. If you didn't know this already, we have two different golden apples. We have the regular golden apple, which gives you regen, and the second golden apple, which gives you regen, but it's more badass because it's faster and more. You've got potatoes. Woo! you got baked potatoes. Yes! And you've got poisonous potatoes, carrots, golden carrots, carrots on a stick, which is basically a fishing pole, and pumpkin pie. Which is pretty freaking awesome that that's added in the game. We've got two new potions added in the game also. We've got potions of night vision and potions of uh, invisibility. So there you go. That's pretty freaking awesome. I can't wait to use those. Now here we've got villagers. And let me show you what's new with how the game works. So 
Um, say you're in your village and you have villagers and all, and then all of a sudden a zombie horde comes around because, well, they decide to eat brains tonight. Uh, tonight we die in hell. So you know they go after the villagers, they start munching on them, and you know what? You probably have a chance of one of those villagers turning into a zombie villager. Look, boom, right there, zombie villager, and the other ones didn't have a chance because they're idiots, and they just died. So let's go ahead and spawn some more and see if they turn into it. Ah, oh, they're going after that guy. But yeah, that's a zombie villager. They added him now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully they'll add a way that you can heal. Okay, we got desert temples. I'm going to put a picture on the screen. This is what they look like. I can't find one in another world, so pff, picture on the screen. <laughs> there you go. And we've got de desert villages now. This is what it looks like on the screen. Alright. Take a good look. Now we've got jungle temples. This is what it looks like on the screen. Take a good look. Alright. Now we can move on to this. We've got trading added into the game. So now you can trade with villagers in Xbox 360 Edition, which is pretty freaking awesome. I've been waiting for this for a while because it's actually pretty useful. Uh, especially when you're trying to do real as like real survival aspects um, in your series. Um, I like to do that. Like, say I want to buy all of his helmets. Just give me all your helmets. And you get a helmet. And you get a helmet. I'm just going to donate all these helmets to the lava. Yeah. Um... Alright. Uh, oh, look, he's got another trade. So you can have up to six trades, uh, seven trades. And, um, seven different trades, if he can go up to that, at least. Some villages, I don't think, don't go up to that. Um, but if he does, you're lucky, because you've got a variety of things to choose from. Uh, until he, you max it, max it out. Like, now he wants coal. 23 coal. Oh my god. Gee, dude. No, zombie, go away. Hold on. Get this. Can you, like, die? Go in the lava. Yes, go take a swim. Alright. We can buy more emeralds. I mean, this guy is just awesome. He has... Well, except for that last trade. Alright, you can die now. I don't care. Go ahead. Yep, you're dead. Get out of here. Get in my face. You're pretty cheap, asshole. Oh, they're gonna eat him up. Anyone gonna turn into a zombie villager? No? Yes? Ooh, he did. And looks like they're not. Nope. It looks like they turn into a zombie villager right away. Now, we've got another mechanic added into the game, and that is that, uh, well, it was a mechanic that was added, supposedly, quote-unquote, added um, in the last game, uh, last update, but it didn't happen. Now we have it. Boom. Uh, boom. Now you can hit wooden buttons and wooden pressure plates with arrows, and it'll turn it on and keep it on until the arrow disappears, which is awesome because that makes out for good redstone maps. Okay, sideways lo uh, logs and pillars can bo uh, both go sideways. So, that's good for the builders. Point one for the builders. Okay, we've got some new recipe changes and stuff here. Um, to make uh, sandstone, uh, chiseled sandstone, you put in four sandstone like that, and you get the chiseled sandstone. So basically, if you don't know, if you don't know how to make sandstone, you're pretty sad. You've got to get four sand, put it together, you make one sandstone, uh, basically, you gotta get 4, 8, 12, uh, 16, 16 sand to make 4 sandstone, and then 4 sandstone to make 1 chiseled stone, uh, sandstone. It's a lot of math, kids. Don't break your brain. Alright. And then, same thing here. Uh, well, my bad. Chiseled sandstone. I, I'm confused right now. I'm speaking very fast. Okay, I don't know how much speaker stuff. That's why. Um, okay. So there you go. That's the chiseled sandstone. My bad. The other one was... Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna say right now. Next thing. Okay. Furnaces. So, uh, say you have food and you ran out of fuel and you have old materials you don't want anymore. You can go ahead and cook your wooden tools that you don't want anymore and it'll work. But as you can see, the fire goes down very quickly. So it's not very good fuel, but I mean, it's good for getting rid of your old boring tools that you don't want to just throw out. Uh, you can actually put them to use. And you can also put a lot of buckets to use. But the thing is, that's awesome. If you were able to do that before, but you weren't able to get your bucket back. So now you can get your bucket back, which is awesome. Because um, that was free iron, and that was work. <laughs> so the next thing we've got here is we've got this cute little quartz house that I built. we got a zombie egg, and let me show you what other mechanic they've added into the game. Oh, zombie, no! No! Come on! Cooperate! I'm going to tenderize your butt. Come here. Alright. <sighs> Alright, you guys get to come in here and show show everyone, guys. Show everyone how this works. 
Oh, they're already doing it, okay. Um, so now whenever they bust on doors, it shows them busting down doors. But since I'm not on hard mode, it won't break. It'll just restart and do the same thing over again. But yeah, it shows that they actually are breaking it instead of just like making it sound. And you can't really tell when it's about to break. Now you can tell when it's about to break and when to run the fuck away. <laughs> um, that is if you're scared. Now this thing right here we've got, um, can you shut up before you freaking burn you to death? Come here. Come here. No, you know what? No. No, get back there. I'm gonna tenderize your butt. Come here. Mmm. Tenderize. But. Mmm. Yes. Alright. Get rid of that fire. Go away. Okay, so let me show you the next thing we've got here that they've added in. Um, obviously the portal was there before in the last update. But let's go through. The reason why I've got ice is because, um, well. I needed a drink. No, that, that's not, that's not why. But, when you put ice in the nether, it's supposed to melt. Uh, keyword supposed to. Maybe near fire. Let's see what this does. Because normally, before this update, it would melt. Oh, it looks like it, it just melts. It doesn't melt like it did last update. Last update, it would melt and actually release water. And now, you're fucked. You can no longer get water in the nether by cheating it in by using ice. So, thanks 4J. I mean, you fucked up people's blaze spawning ideas now, so whatever. I guess it just melts and doesn't let out water like this. Oh well, whatever. Guess you can't cheat in water anymore. Whatever. Um, let's see. There's also this thing where um, any mob from the nether can teleport through the portal and actually go to the overworld. So, I'm gonna see if one of these guys comes with me. Maybe they do it on their own, or maybe they have to stand there for a while, I don't know how this works. I've seen it happen before on the PC edition, but whatever. We'll just, if we see one, if we see a uh, pigment around here, then we'll know. Um, it's, yeah. Oh, it's getting nighttime, so boop! You can put levers on the up, on the, um, bottom side of blocks now, so that's pretty freaking awesome. Um, finally! I mean, why not? That's logical, you know? You can do that. Um, here we've got armor, leather armor, and dye. Uh, you can dye, um, armor in Minecraft now, but I don't know how to do that, which, I mean, go look up a tutorial on how to do it, because I don't, I don't know how to do it. Because you'd think you'd go to the armor and be like, let's look through here, and then it'd all of a sudden have, like, the armor thing. I'm probably stupid then. I don't know. Maybe. Um, string. Uh, this goes back to the tripwire and hook. You can actually place string down, kind of like redstone. You can just go like this. and you, It's hard to see, but you got string on the ground. You see that? The very thin line of string. You can put string on the ground now. Which is, I mean, I guess a way to save space in your chest. Just plop it all down on your floor, in your kitchen, or your living room, or whatever. But don't trip over it. Pfft. Um... A uh, crafting recipe for books has changed. Um, it's no longer... Where is the paper? Paper, 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 paper. Where you at? There you is. Pa uh, crafting a book used to be three pieces of paper. I don't think it was like that. I think it was like diagonal. I mean, horizontal. Uh, it used to be like that, but now it's still three pieces of paper, but in a different organization, and it requires leather, which is pretty... It makes sense, but it's stupid, because I don't like having to go get leather at the beginning of the game, but whatever. Oh well. Deal with it. Hashtag deal with it. Alright, so the next thing here is, remember when lily pads used to break your boat when you flew into them hard enough? Oh, did I even show that? Okay, hold on. Some, someone messed up my freaking thing. Alright. So we're gonna go like this. And now it's different. Now boats can destroy lily pads. Just the way it should be, right? That's how it would be in real life. If you drove a boat into a whole bunch of lily pads, the lily pads would get stuck on the side of the boat or get carried away with the boat and fly. Uh, you see? Look at this. Run right through it. Perfect. That's how the way. That's the way it should be. You see? That's awesome. And you can even just do that. Oh, it broke my boat still. Let's see if we can just pile them all up and uh, just throw the boat into it. Do I have to be in the boat? No. It actually seems it just takes it out and it breaks after a while. Okay. Well. I guess it has a durability. Well, yeah. Now that happens. The logical way happens. So I've got a little doggy here. And I've tamed it. And now, as you can tell, there's dyes in here. We can now 
in my top deck boxes 50 edition dive the collars on dogs uh on tame dogs so as you can see it's red right now um yeah i can't dye it red again so oh wait 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 wait, wait. let's see can we dye orange and then red again orange red oh it looks like you don't actually use up the dye in creative mode oh okay well i'm just gonna show you every single color how pretty it is yo poop poopy color all right get rid of that use the rest of these and showcase what the colors look like it looks pretty nice in this texture pack especially all right and i'm gonna go ahead and keep my dog purple because science all right <laughs> third street all right um uh, here we've got a piggy with a saddle and a carrot on a stick. Let's sit on that piggy, and I'll show you that now we can actually guide them where to go. It's a little wobbly, you know, sort of. Oh my god, my head is backwards. I'm owling. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's a little, like, you kind of got to point in that direction for like a full second before he finally responds. It's a little bit of a delay, and then he's, his head is glitchy, but, I mean, whatever. Ew, ew, that's so glitchy, I'm gonna kill him. Kill it, kill it! It's so gross looking, kill it! <laughs> oh, that's another thing. Um, but can't forget that. Because this is, this is why I call it the finally update. There's so many things I haven't, that I haven't said finally to, but I should have. Um, finally, when you kill a pig, you get your freaking saddle back. Because, let's, let's tenderize their butts. It makes sense, right? They're pigs. You get the saddles back. There you go. Finally! Come on, say it with me. Finally! Gosh! Now here we've got some villagers. The thing here that I'm trying to show you is that um, they all have professions. This one's, I think, the butcher. That one's uh, movie theater popcorn vendor. I don't even what. Oh, it says their name. That's the butcher. That does not look like a butcher. Um, that's the uh, other guy. Okay, yeah, librarian. Okay, priest, and then farmer. Yeah, I'm stupid. Okay, the blacksmith was that other guy with the scratch guy. Okay, my bad. That's a good thing it tells you. Um, so here we've got um, a, me showcasing... This is basically to showcase that pigs now drop more pork chops. Which, I don't know what the rate was. Maybe you guys know. Maybe some of you know. If you do know, at least share it in the comment section. Um... So that way, first of all, you can give me the information, and second of all, anyone who has the same question, because they don't know also, can just look in the comment section, and boom, they find out. I don't know what the rate was before, I'm guessing like 0 to 2 pork chops. It must be like 2 to 5 now. 5 is like, pff, damn. So 6, 7, oh, it's only 1. I guess it's like 1 to 3, I'm guessing? 1 to 3 pork chops? Okay, 1, uh, 3, come on. Alright, well, yep, you get the idea. They drop more pork chops. Supposedly more. It doesn't really feel like more. It feels the same. But if you have looting on your sword, yes! Awesome. Do it. You will get so much food for days. Um, there's also this thing where you can make babies. You can make, basically, you just click on the mob, the adult version of the mob, with the left trigger, once. Uh, if you hold it, it just like, <clears throat> just shits out a whole bunch of babies, like, <laughs> like it just did in that area. But yeah, you can do it with most mobs. I don't think you can do it with zombies yet, because I don't think they added baby zombies. Um, yeah, they haven't, so that sucks. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this update. There's a few more things. you got to look on the uh, wiki page um, to get those few things. They're mostly like bug fixes and stuff like that. So remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. Like. Uh, and let's go over here. Subscribe today to become elite and not miss out any new concert uploads. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, I will see you in the next video that I create, and so, goodbye elites, goodbye!